Hello and welcome to Free Code Camp's basic JavaScript course. This is the introduction to JavaScript section. I'll be going through as many as these as I can before I get tired of it. Um, so let us begin. We'll start with comments. Comment your JavaScript code. Comments are lines of code that JavaScript will intentionally ignore. Comments are a great way to leave notes to yourself and to other people who will later need to figure out what the code does. There are two ways to write comments in JavaScript. Using forward slash forward slash will tell JavaScript to ignore the remainder of the text on the current line. So this would be a comment here. You can make a multi-line comment beginning with forward slash star and ending with star forward slash. So this would be a multi-line comment. Best practice as you write code, you should regularly add comments to clarify the function of parts of your code. Good commenting can help communicate the intent of your code both for others and for your future self. Try creating one of each type of comment. It's probably going to be one of the easiest lessons we get. Easy. Single. Line. Comment. And then we have forward slash asterisk and asterisk forward slash multi line. I oh, know it's ugly, but you guys get the point. Run test. We passed it. This is declared JavaScript variables. In computer science, data is anything that is meaningful to the computer. JavaScript provides seven different data types, which are undefined, null, boolean, string, symbol, number, and object. For example, computers distinguish between numbers, such as the number 12, and strings, such as number 12 or the string dog, or the string one, two, three, cats, which are collections of characters. Computers can perform mathematical operations on a number, but not on a string. So basically, this is just saying, if you put quotes around it, it's going to treat it as like text. I know it's all kind of text, even the numbers is type of text, but really it's a number. You could do two plus two without quotes, and it will say four. But if you do quotes two, and then plus quotes two, you're going to get 22 because it's going to add those two strings and put them together. It won't actually do math, but we'll probably learn that later. Variables allow computers to store and manipulate data in a dynamic fashion. They do this by using a label to point to the data rather than using the data itself. Any of the seven data types may be stored in a variable. Variables are similar to the X and Y variables you use in mathematics, which means they're a simple name to represent the data we want to refer to. Computer variables differ from mathematical variables in that they can store different values at different times. We tell JavaScript to create or declare a variable by putting the keyword var in front of it like so. var our name creates a variable called our name. In JavaScript, we end statements with semicolons. Variable names can be made up of numbers, letters, and dollar sign or underscore but may not contain spaces or start with a number. Use the var keyword to create a variable called my name. Hint, look at the our name examples if you get stuck. So we're just going to create a variable called my name. Here's a variable called our name. They want us to do a variable called my name. And they don't tell us to assign it anything, so let's just run this. We did pass it. Storing values with the assignment operator. In JavaScript, you can store value in a variable with the assignment operator. So here we have my variable and we're assigning to it the number five. This assigns the number value five to my variable. Assignment always goes from right to left. Everything to the right of the equal sign operator, or it's not an equal sign. This is the assignment operator. So everything to the right of the assignment operator is resolved before the value is assigned to the variable to the left of the operator. Later we'll know what is the equivalent to an equal sign, but this is not an equal sign, not in JavaScript. So my var is assigned 5. My num is assigned my var, which will be assigned 5. This assigns 5 to my var and then resolves my var to 5 again and assigns it to my num. So assign the value 7 to variable A, and then assign the contents of A to variable B. A pretty easy one. So here we have a setup, var A, and then var B is assigned 2. 
So they want us to assign the value 7 to variable a. So we can go ahead and do a is assigned 7. Notice I didn't say var a, and that's because it was already declared here. Here I'm just initializing it with the value 7. And then they want us to assign the contents of a to variable b. So all you got to do is say b is going to be assigned the contents a. And let's run this. And we did pass it. And we should uh, maybe see if it, it should be assigned b. So basically, this is going to now equal 7, b. Continue. So initializing variables with the assignment operator. It is common to initialize a variable to an initial value in the same line as it is declared. So var, my var, and we assign it 0. That would be initializing it. That would create a new variable called my var and assigns it an initial value of 0. Define a variable a with var and initialize it to a value of 9. So here they want us to do var a and initialize it to a value of 9. Let's run test. We did pass. What we learned here is just basically initializing our variable as soon as we declare it. You could also just do var a and that declares a variable but it doesn't assign it nothing. So it is common to initialize when you declare it which is what we did. Let's again run it, go to the next one. So understanding uninitialized variables. When JavaScript variables are declared, they have an initial value of undefined. If you do a mathematical operation on an undefined variable, your result will be not a number, which means not a number. If you concatenate a string with an undefined variable, you will get a literal string of undefined. Initialize the three variables a, b, and c with 510 and ima, respectively, so that they will not be undefined. So they want us to not change code below here. So we're going to go here and we're initializing them. So var a is going to be 5. Under that, var b is assigned 10. And then, and then c. I am A. So now if we look at down here, A is going to be assigned 5 plus 1, which should be 6. B is going to be assigned 10 plus 5, which will be 15. And C is going to be assigned I am A string. Because I am A will be put in there, and then there's this space string. I am a string. Let's run this. Let's look at it, see what it says. A should be defined and evaluated to have the value of 6, 15, and the value of I am a string. Get past that. Do maybe one more. Understanding case sensitivity in variables. In JavaScript, all variables and function names are case sensitive. This means that capitalization matters. My var is not the same as my var nor my var. It is possible to have multiple distinct variables with the same name but different casing. It is strongly recommended that for the sake of clarity, you do not use this language feature. Best practice, write variable names in JavaScript in camel case. In camel case, multi-word variable names have the first word in lowercase and the first letter of each subsequent word is capitalized. So only the first one will be lowercase and then as you add more words, the first letter of those words should always be capital. So some variable, another variable name, we see the V and the N here, capital, and then V, N, I, S, L, for this variable name is so long. That's camel case. Modify the existing declarations and assignments so their names use camel case. Do not create any new variables. Okay, so we're going to modify. So the declarations and assignments. This one says they want stud, lee, I would say cap var. So this would be Dudley cap var, proper camel case. So proper camel case, title case over. 
and we want the T and then here title case over so now all these are in camel case and they should be good let us try running that and we did pass so I'll end this here but basically we learned a bunch of the intro stuff to JavaScript like comments variables uh, strings and numbers just go back and like do them again that's something that's helped me tremendously is just repeating a lot of these courses stuff might not make sense in the beginning but you get part of it and then you redo it again and you kind of uh, start filling in more gaps as you keep doing it because you understand stuff you didn't understand at first and it starts all connecting uh yeah just make sure to practice make sure to share like subscribe if you find these helpful and i'll see you in the next lesson